Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. We're coming to you from Rick Warren's uh, God's vision for the rest of your life. And, and I want to talk to you about how to become wise, how to become wise. Maybe you've, you've had a few uh, bouts lately that you haven't made the best decisions and you find yourself incredibly uh, backed into a corner. You don't know what to do. Well, if you want to become wise, the first thing you need to do, it's a long-term process, but the first thing you need to do is to feed yourself with God's word every day. Proverbs 2, 6 says, it's the Lord who gives wisdom. From him come knowledge and understanding. You don't get wisdom from television. You don't get wisdom from the internet. You don't get it from magazines. Wisdom comes from God. A Bible says in Proverbs 15, 14, a wise person is hungry for knowledge while the fool feeds on trash. I love the way the New Living Translation says that. A wise person is hungry for knowledge while the fool feeds on trash. You can either feed on truth or feed on trash. Whatever you fill your mind with is what's going to come out. Garbage in, garbage out. So if you want to be wise, feed on truth every day. There are three kinds of uh, things that you can feed your mind with. You can feed your mind with poison, you can feed it with junk food, or you can feed it with health food. I like the way Rick breaks this out. Poison, simply the stuff that poisons your system. It's bad for you. It takes you down. Uh, pornography is poison. Some people say, I can watch that stuff. It doesn't bother me anymore. That's the problem. When you can watch and read things that are profane, blasphemous, evil, vile, and abusive, and it doesn't bother you, you have a problem. You've become a fool. Wise people protect their mind. They don't just allow anything into their mind. They keep the poison out. The Bible says, uh, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is good report, those are the things that you think about. So so poison, don't, don't do poison. The second part is junk food. Junk food is neither good or bad. It just has no nutritional value to it whatsoever. Most of the stuff you see on TV, uh, you know, I, I'm probably not evil. It's just junk food. It's what we call stuffing. The problem with stuffing is, is that with, when you stuff yourself with stuffing, you have no hunger for truth. If you watch TV for hours and hours, your mind's full of empty calories that don't help your body or your mind. But then there's health food. Now, now listen, uh, so many of us from the South don't like that term health food because we think health food can't taste good. I promise you, there's health food that tastes good. And it easily helps you feel good. Well, health food's nutritional food. It helps you grow, maintain your health. Truth is health food for your mind. So the wise person feeds on truth. It makes you wiser. In your relationships, your time, your money, your business, your parenting, your marriage, every other area of your life. So to feed your mind with truth, the first place you need to go is God's Word. The more you develop the habit of spending time each day reading and studying the Bible, the wiser you'll become. So let me ask you a question. What kinds of junk food do you allow just to fill your mind with? And, and, and what difference do you see in your day when you spend too much time watching TV and on the internet than you do in God's Word? So what are you going to do differently? What practical step can you take today to help make your quiet time a priority so you can fill your mind with truth. Remember, whatever is good, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is of good report, why don't we start thinking on those things? The Bible says whenever we do and whenever we start filling our mind with the Word of God, that we not only become wiser, the Bible says perfect peace has him whose mind is stayed on you, I mean, Psalm 1, 2, and 3, that, that he who delights in the law of the Lord, you know, he, he's like a tree planted by the water brook that bears its fruit in season, whose leaf never withers. Whatever he does shall prosper. Why would you not want that? Well, the reason people prosper and others don't many times is because they focus their mind on that which is true, that which is good, that which is praiseworthy. That's my prayer for you today. Father, in Jesus' name, help us to focus our mind. And may you be glorified. And may we, Father, uh, receive the wisdom that you want to give us so easily. You said, Lord, if any of us ask wisdom, lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all men liberally and doesn't withhold any. So, Father, thank you. 
And I pray that today we would make the wise choice of focusing on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I pray you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. Now, go be salt and light.